Creative Maths brings you Maths made really clear with Dr Nick, lowest common denominator. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. In this video I'm going to explain what a lowest common denominator is, when you need a lowest common denominator and how to find one. There will be worked examples and then some practice exercises for you to do. We will not be converting fractions to a common denominator in this video. First, a quick reminder. The denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction that tells you the size of each piece by telling you how many pieces make up one whole. The numerator tells you how many pieces you have. And when two fractions have a common denominator, it means that they have the same denominator or the same number on the bottom. Three-fifths and one-fifth have a common denominator of five. One-third and one-eighth have different denominators. Adding fractions has three steps, preparation, operation and presentation. To be able to add fractions in the operation step, they need to have a common denominator. So in the preparation step, we need to convert the fractions to have a common denominator. One-half plus two-thirds. One-half and two-thirds have different denominators. You can see that the units are different sizes. It's like the half speaks French and the two-thirds speaks Māori. They cannot talk to each other in their own languages. They need to find a common language to talk to each other. A good way to find a common denominator is to multiply the two denominators. 2 times 3 equals 6. We will use 6 as the common denominator. Once the two fractions have been converted to sixths, then they are ready to add. 6 is a common denominator of 1 half and 2 thirds. Often the common denominator we get by multiplying the denominators is just fine. But sometimes we wish to find the lowest common denominator. I will show you how to do this with an example. 3 fourths, also known as 3 quarters, plus 1 sixth. We find a common denominator by multiplying the two denominators. 4 times 6 equals 24. 24 is a common denominator of 3 fourths and 1 sixth. 3 fourths or 3 quarters is equivalent to 18 20 fourths. 1 sixth is equivalent to 4 20 fourths. But is 24 the lowest common denominator? The lowest common denominator is the smallest number that can be a common denominator. We find it by listing the multiples of each of the denominators. For 4 you would write 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. For 6 you would write 6, 12, 18, 24. We can stop as soon as we have a number in common. The lowest common denominator is the smallest number that is in both lists. In this case it is 12. Both 4 and 6 go evenly into 12. You can see these multiples on the multiplication table. The multiples of 4 and the multiples of 6. 12, 24 and 36 all appear on both lines, so all are common denominators. But 12 is the lowest common denominator because it is the smallest. We can write that as LCD of 3 fourths and 1 sixth equals 12. 3 fourths or 3 quarters is equivalent to 9 twelfths. 1 sixth is equivalent to 2 twelfths. Once the two fractions have been converted to twelfths, then they are ready to add. Here is another worked example. Try it yourself first. 5 eighths plus 1 fourth. What is the least common denominator? We list the multiples. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. 8 is the smallest number to occur in both sets. You can see this on the multiplication tables here. The lowest common denominator of 5 eighths and 1 fourth is 8. Practice is really important. Here are three more examples. Find the lowest common denominator for each of the pairs of fractions. 2 thirds and 3 sevenths, 5 sixths plus 1 third, 4 twenty fifths and 11 twentieths. You need to pause the video and do these examples before proceeding. Answers to practice examples. 2 thirds and 3 sevenths. I have listed the multiples of 3 and 7. 21 is the lowest common denominator. You can see it here on the table. 5 sixths plus 1 third. Again I've listed the multiples. 6 is the lowest common denominator. 
When one of the denominators is a multiple of the other denominator, that will be the lowest common denominator. 6 is a multiple of 3, so the lowest common denominator is 6. 4 25ths plus 11 twentieths. I have listed the multiples of 25 and 20. The lowest common denominator of 4 25ths and 11 twentieths is 100. Here are four more examples for you to find the lowest common denominator for. 4 ninths and 4 fifths, 1 half and 3 eighths, 1 quarter and 7 tenths, 2 fifths and 1 half. Do try them yourself and check your answers at the end of this video. This video provided instruction and practice in finding the lowest common denominator for two fractions. Check in the description below for links to other videos and resources. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible. Here are the answers for the additional problems. The lowest common denominator of 4 ninths and 4 fifths is 45. The lowest common denominator of 1 half and 3 eighths is 8. The lowest common denominator of 1 quarter and 7 tenths is 20. And the lowest common denominator of 2 fifths and 1 half is 10.